Oh, damn you. Okay, so now... We have kind of a roundabout path that we need to take if we want to get... Uh... Another upgrade. Oh. Damage boost. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Yeah, this pillar was... Honestly, probably one of the worst ideas to try and implement as a way to get out. Okay. It's... It's much more bearable with the high jump. I know where I am. I have to go a very, very far ways away, and I don't really want to do that. Because it's slightly weird. Mm. Have to do it, though. Yeah, getting out of there without uh, high jump is a nightmare, and I I would know as I have done that. So now we must go this way fully because I forgot that uh, it going the way that I I I did this poorly because I forgot about a single missile tank because. This way leads to a few one-way paths that take us directly to Kraid. So we could have actually grabbed a missile on our way out. So yeah, that was an entire one-way path. So, through this room, into the next. Head through here. Grab our missile. And then we head back. Now, uh, part of the path that I took is one way. You now, that giant fall with all the rippers. Uh, if you want to know, is. Oh, come on. Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the hidden way to Kraid. And say hello to Kraid. Or at least their body double. Who is... Who uh, makes things just as difficult as his main thing. And, uh, he's a bit weaker than his, than the real crate. Uh, there's more mallows. Or was it mellow? 
we just head on through anyway. And... Actually, right here, we can drop right down to where the entrance... Like, the room right outside where uh, Crate is. Yeah. I was currently, uh... Checking... Okay, now, those were Mimas. Okay, then. So we just now climb, and... Some of this should look familiar for a bit. Yep. Right here is a spot that... Well... We can only get out of. It's a one-way nightmare in Crate's hideout. Should lead us to here. Yeah, we had two of those one ways. One was technically a one way for us uh, picking up those missiles that I missed. Oh, okay, nope. This is where you gotta be careful. And Having the screw attack kind of messes with us. Uh, if you can't be bothered to go through that way, this is this technically is a side route that allows you to get back up. It's a long one, and I'd rather not have to take it. Or maybe I have to, considering that... Uh, that river isn't respawning. Well, hey, I get to show off this path. But yeah, you have a river here. You have that. It, it's really not too much. Go through here and... Just experience the slowest escape from Crate's hideout. And yeah. Oh. Come on. Ah, Samus, work with me here. Okay. Nope. I think. We do just head up all the way to here, because now we're off to Turian. Now, if you have the wave beam, this is the perfect time to go way out of your way to get the ice beam. If you do things my way, you end up with... And you keep the wave beam. Uh, you'll have to go back to where you first got the wave... Uh, where you first got the ice beam. And from there, backtrack to that room I showed you with the statues. all the way over to there. And you'll find out the reason why you need the ice beam very soon. Some people probably... Actually, a lot of people probably know this already. I didn't. I completely forgot.
and that caused me problems. I mean, it also didn't help that, uh... To make it even more apparent what's about to ha happen, uh, I've been playing the 3DS remake of Metroid 2 recently, and that contributed. And also, no, I'm not going to record uh, a playthrough of the Metroid 2 remake. Mostly because trying to find a 3DS emulator is... is like... Uh, it's, it's a shady business. You're either going to be downloading a Trojan or... Uh, you find the diamond in the rough. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. And as for recording the DS itself. There's not much I can do as I don't want to spend the money on a 3DS that has been modified to allow for a capture device to work with it. Nor do I want to spend the money to get my 3DS oh, 2DS modified. So, we're here, but nothing has changed. Well, that's because we gotta shoot the statues and accidentally leave. Back in we go. And the path shows. And you can bomb the path for no reason. Well, let's head down to Turian and get this over with. I'm not enthusiastic. Most of the lead-up is... Uh, okay, so Metroid's drop power-ups that give you... Uh, 30. So they drop... 30 energy if they drop energy. 30 missiles if they drop missiles. This is a missile door. It takes 10 missiles. I I mistakenly thought it was... Uh, you need to defeat every enemy. And now we have the Cheerios of Doom, otherwise called Rinkas. Thank goodness Metroid's dropped so many uh, things. Because if you're low on energy, just take out some Metroids. If you're low on missiles, hopefully you have enough to take out a Metroid. But all in all, you should be fine. Rinkas are awful. They just spawn and make your day worse. Fire one extra missile. So this is the part that I dislike because of how Rinkas are. Ah. Yeah, they they are a bit of a spawning mess. And just kind of a nightmare in general. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, and Rinkas don't drop anything to help you. No missile drops, no health drops, nothing. They are awful. Oh. Okay. Up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, if you're really desperate for energy and missiles, which I guarantee you're going to be soon, uh, you're going to need to take care of the Metroids. I 
I'm just... I don't really feel I have the ability to, uh... Pull around. Oh. Ah. Uh. The, the lava is a bit tricky. And the screw attack does nothing to deter Metroid. Oh, thanks for... Ah! I rebound. Switching between beam and missiles is a bit of a tricky affair for me. Okay, time to enter the Room of Doom. That wall is technically an enemy. Welcome to a nightmare. So. Those doors require a constant stream of missiles to destroy. Otherwise, they regenerate themselves. And if I'm correct, there's essentially this. Okay, just that worked out for me. Uh. Okay. Okay, nope. Right there, you saw it regenerate. Again, you need a constant stream of missiles, so at this point, I'm actually in a very. environment. So, now I have 99 missiles. We need uh, honestly a concerning amount to defeat the final boss of Mother Brain. Brain, because you actually were a force of, for good for once. Oh, yeah. You see how I have uh, a, a, a chunk of energy missing Well, yeah, that's that's going to be common. Uh, come on. Perfect. Mother Brain also needs a continuous source of missiles. Okay. Come on. You need about 33. And... That Rinka is just... in the way. Uh, yeah. Bloody Rinkas! Yeah, if you fall in the front, it's it's hard to get out. Okay, come on. Okay. You sent me demon Cheerios from hell. How thoughtful. Now, un unlike the walls... Okay, perfect, we're done. That went a lot smoother than my original attempt. So, welcome to the time!
Uh, you have plenty of time to get out of here. If you make a couple of mistakes, you should be fine. But generally, you're going to hit, like, the 600 mark, so it takes about 300 units of time. I say units of time. And that was instinctual. Anytime I'm falling to what I assume to be death, I just... I just full-on go bites the dust and, uh... Reset time. It's not as explosive I when I use that power, but... Hey. You take what you can get. If you want an easier time with... Again, the control... Thing. Uh, there we are. See, I'm at the top. You need a couple of seconds. Uh... Yeah, I think it's about 20-ish seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that was Metroid 1. Great, you've fulfilled your mission. It will revive peace in space, but it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace in space. And yep. Now I'm not even sure if I, uh... Did everything right to get all the items. I think I didn't. I'm... Oh, I definitely must have missed, like, a missile pack or two somewhere. Because by getting 100% and you get an alternate ending. Yeah. Ah. Completing this game a second time was so much easier. I went in partially blind as I had never played beyond... ...getting your first missile pack. I, I always ended up in a situation where I was playing recklessly and... ...I just hemorrhaged energy. I'd never found my first E-Tank and... That led me to not really liking this game that much. But now, in playing through it again, I found that I just I just enjoy being able to go around collecting items. There are points where it was scary, but everything worked out in the end. Speaking of the end, uh, I joked that that's that's where all the budget went at one point. So there's a few things uh, that I can go over quickly. So if you press start at the end, you start over from the beginning of the game. And you're in the exact same suit you ended off the game with. So in this case, I'm in the Varia suit. We have our ice beam. We have our missiles. Or, uh, we don't have missiles. We have our bombs, though. So basically, any long-term upgrade. We even have the screw attack. So, yes. This was Metroid. A game that kicked off an entire genre that I love dearly and is one of my favorites. So, without further ado, thank you all for coming down to my neck of the woods. I have been Morning Day You. This has been Metroid. Have a great rest of your day. Farewell.